It's a fear and game. Yeah, it's a free end game. I thought it's going to be something else, but You're apparently it's a free end game. In the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm, this one. Hmm, not this one. I think there is an option to change the speed, but I didn't see any, so... Ah, never mind. Wow, lots of option. The end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not like this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to offer monarch. Viva la revolution. Silently continue to the cabin. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Have you considered it maybe the only reason she's going to... Okay, okay, okay. Um... She's not dangerous. She's just a princess. The danger comes if she gets out. Which she will, unless you do something about it. Okay, what happens if she gets out then? I want specifics. Yeah? The more specifics you have, the harder it will be for you to do this very important job. She's a princess. People will listen to her, because listening to her is in their nature. And when they do, everything will come crashing down. Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. I guess we'll just have to see what happens, but a word of warning, if you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies, and the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go, talk to her, see how that turns out for all of us. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. 
you take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Hmm? Wait a second. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and dark, a hint of rot filtering from the Asian ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Okay. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. I mean, it's her. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? What, why? Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Somehow so it sounded- you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? Do you see the razor sharpness in her gaze? I don't think she's bluffing. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry, can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade. Slay the princess. I mean, it's a V end, so we basically could find lots of ending. And also, it's a demo. So. I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Then I'm not talking to you. Fine, then I guess we're at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding onto the blade. Squint. Drop the blade. Slay the princess. You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. The two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? You squint even harder. So does she. 
At least nobody's dying right now. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have to blink. Presley. You charge the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct. A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. So I died? Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. With the last bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. She died? The two of you collapse on the floor together, rapidly bleeding out. Somehow? I thought this would turn out a little differently, but I wonder. You wonder what? Do you really think that this was enough to stop me? Probably no, but then. There it is again. That razor sharp look in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. But you don't have the time to worry over such things. Everything goes black and you die. That's ending one. Oh, another chapter. Okay. But I died though. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that, you're here to slay her. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? But I died. What am I doing here? Yeah. Already slew the princess. Oh, slay, slew. Okay. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. What am I here again? I can yeah. assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. She lied. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Uh, are we sure we don't want to turn around and hightail it out of here? I really don't want to be stabbed to death again. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. She lied. That's exactly what you told us last time. But as soon as we tried to slay her, she she just started stabbing us to death. Calm yeah. down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Should I bother doing anything? But I'm going to try this one. <sighs> Thank you. For a minute there, I thought you were going to march us straight back to her. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Yeah. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. Yeah, the cabin. I'm not going to the cabin again. I wanted to try this ending. Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. This one. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. That's strange. It looks like this path <sighs> also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. You cheater. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. But I died already. I don't care, I'm not killing the princess. Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into this. Oh my god, option 2 and 3 is good. Three. Stakes and consequences aren't emotional blackmail. They're facts of life, and if you had an ounce of maturity, you'd understand that. And we're in? But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, oh would you look at that. You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you your fated confrontation with the princess. I don't care how many times we keep winding up here, we can't go into that place. We just can't. This 
still fighting this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess, I guess I start walking in a different direction, again. In fact, I'm going to just keep tracking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. Nah, it's not gonna happen. I mean, I don't know, but I'm kind of assuming that even though I try to go back again and returning, turn away from this cave and I'm going to go back here again. <sighs> There's always a choice, but let me tell you right now that you're making the correct decision for pretty much everyone. No, 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 what are you doing? We were so close to getting out of here. We're not. The interior of the cabin is a jagged oh. mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. This is different. The cabin doesn't look like this before. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Approach the mirror, take the blade. Definitely need the blade to kill the princess later, but they didn't say anything about this one. That's because there isn't. A, there's definitely a mirror. Oh my god, I couldn't. What's the previous one? The interior. No, this one. That's because there isn't a mirror. There is a table. The plate sitting on the table and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There is a, a mirror. Here, it's so clear there's a mirror. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this noise. I care. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. It's a... it's a mirror. This really isn't funny. What the mirror clean? You reach forward and rub Ooh. your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. For the love of everything, can we just get this over with already? All this waiting is killing me. So take the blade? You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Okay, holding it, holding it feels a little better. Maybe we can make it through this. Well, we can't, but then let's go. We don't have anything else to do. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it the smell of fresh blood but you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below if the princess lives here slaying her would probably be doing her a favor probably that's right but... scraping i told you she has something i told you that sound could be anything it's probably just her chains dragging across the floor i am begging you to get out of your head her grating voice carries up the stairs I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. Oh, that's grating? I thought grating sounded like this. This is me trying to grate my teeth. Oh, this is grating? It's grating, right? Ah, okay. Not greeting, but gritting. There is a, a word for gritting, right? Like biting, biting your teeth together. Hmm. Is something wrong with that voice? I can hear her bloodlust. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody, quick. Get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Somehow her voice sounded so robotic compared to the first one. We're not falling for it. She's tricking us. Can't you hear that 
threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Then it'll all happen again. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? I'm... Oh, this is the end of the demo. Okay. Mm. Halo Bu Roti Apakah sudah hampir sampai di tempat kerja? Sudah jam 7 lewat Biasanya 7.17 kan sudah sampai di tempat kerja Saya ingat gue It was okay. It doesn't feel that scary though. Kenapa kok sedih? Kenapa bu? Kok sedih bu? Dapat empat achievement ya. Okay. It's going to add this to wish list. It was okay, but it's not that great. <laughs> oh, I see. 